Hey guys, I am going to show you how to rebuild a high-tech servo. This is a 9380, uh, one of our most popular servos as far as a high torque goes. Got two of them in this. This is my 105 AJ Laser. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but I've got about an eighth inch of play in the surface um, on a big airplane like this it's that's not very acceptable you want that to be a lot tighter you don't want to have flutter obviously um, that can be a big concern these servos in particular have about roughly 400 hard flights on them and they haven't been rebuilt yet um, generally what happens is there's a component in the case that starts to wear out because these are a plastic case and it's pretty simple to replace those um, this is the replacement case set I know it says 7950 on it but the 9380 is based off the 7950 and the 7950 case is the exact replacement um, it's not too hard to do the new case comes with the top middle and bottom case set our case pieces it comes with six screws the o-rings um, it's the main output o-ring for the main output shaft um, these are less than 10 bucks um, and you can actually get them direct from us on weekenderwarehouse.com I'll put a link to that in the description all right I'm gone ahead and removed the case screws from the servo there are six in total there's these four main screws that go in from the bottom there's two screws that go in through the top of the case on the sides here make sure you remove those all four um, you're gonna want to remove your eyelets and your grommets those you will reuse. You don't have to reuse the screws um, because, like I said, the new replacement set comes with the screws. You will need a P0. This is a zero Phillips head. You'll need that for the top screws. And this is a number one. And that works good on the bottom screws. Um, these two sizes fit the best in the screws I uh, don't know about other sizes so these are these are what I'd recommend plus these are common sizes for most hobby related things so you should have a pair of those all right here is a reference uh, on how the gears go back into the case uh, you got the main output gear right here obviously this is all one piece. These bearings are a light press fit on there. They're not a super tight tolerance. Um, if you want to replace the bearings, now is a good time to do that. There is a universal ball bearing that fits all of our servos. You will need two bearings for this. This is the top bearing. And underneath, I'll show you in a minute, once we pull it off, there is a bottom bearing. Um, Going from the outside in, the outside being the output gear, you have this middle gear here. Um, then you go on to this top hat looking kind of gear. Um, down underneath is the MPD gear, which stands for Metal Plastic Dura Aluminum. Uh, when I pull it apart, I'll show you. It's actually three different materials. And then Connected to that is the output shaft of the motor. Okay, here's the gear train laid out. Um, again, this is the output gear right here. As you can see, it has another bearing underneath. Um, sometimes these bearings can slip out from normal wear and tear. This one happened to be a little bit loose. Just pop it back in. Inside, there is a white nylon a uh, key that kind of just slips into place. It can only go in really one way. 
um, that keys to the potentiometer which is right here on the servo that's this piece right here it's a square piece and the potentiometer is basically what tells the brain inside the servo what the output position is um, again you have this middle gear then you go to this top hat gear over here um, these will be covered in grease you want to leave that grease on there unless you want to replace it in which case just clean it off and we also have servo lubricant that is the similar to the factory style grease um, this is the MPD gear it's got an aluminum outer ring the centerpiece is plastic and it's kind of hard to tell but the center gear in there is a steel gear um, we make them like this in order to cancel out the RF noises that may feed back into the motor because the motor does have a solid metal pin gear um, I don't know if you can see it in there but there's a motor in there trust me um, and then finally you have these two pins these pins uh, one goes in the center of the servo let me see if I can get them apart here may have just magnetized them with my tool that's okay so the longer pin goes in the middle position of the servo this goes through the MPD gear as well as the middle gear here and the shorter pin all the way on the right over here goes in this little slot on top here there is a small hole there it's directly on top of the motor and it goes through this top hat looking gear. Um, I call it a top hat looking gear because it kind of looks like a top hat. That's that's why. Okay, this is the center case that is removed. It will be kind of stuck on there a little bit. Um, there is an O-ring in here. Let's see if I can pull it apart. Um, eh, maybe not. No show you when I put the new case piece on um, this has to be removed because there is slop that generates in the brass bushing insert right here as well as this piece that circles the uh, the top of the potentiometer this starts to wear a little bit and this is where the bearing actually sits on the bottom of the output gear um, sometimes the bushings the brass bushings in the top case will also have some wear um, generally the gear train they very rarely ever seem to wear out so um, that is the most expensive part I think they run about 50 bucks for just those four gears um, the MPD gear is sold in a three pack in case you manage to strip that which it's not very uh, easy to do considering that gear has the least amount of force on it um, most of the time it's just these two plastic pieces that you got to replace um, again this servo probably has about 400 hard flights on it so for me that was uh, a, a couple years um, worth of flying actually probably three at this point they've never been out of this airplane since I put them in in late 2017 um, this square guy on the bottom with the red, yellow, and green wires going into it is the potentiometer. There is a Phillips head screw that you have to remove. Just use a number zero Phillips head and the screw will come right out. And then the potentiometer you can just push out by hand. Okay, these are the new case parts laid out. Um, this is the bottom case. Um, if you notice inside, they actually do have a number stamped into them. Don't pay any attention to that. Uh, it's just the part number for the case itself. It doesn't really mean anything since a lot of our servos use the same parts throughout them. Um, the replacement case, bottom case, you won't use. This square key right there will prevent it from sitting flat inside the 9380. Um, for $79.50, it'll fit in there may also fit on the D950 as well. 